It's no exaggeration to say we've waited years for the GTA 6's first trailer and now it's here. 90 seconds of Vice City packed full of criminals, weirdos and parties. Every single shot tells a new story and we've poured over the trailer frame by frame to find every single detail. So join us as we deep dive into the GTA 6 trailer. Now, the trailer's opening shot is pure Florida. The color of the setting evoking the save the date tweet that Rockstar put out ahead of the trailer. You can even see that the birds and the palm trees, traffic on the road and the foreground includes a variety of GTA staples including the trucks, the RVs, the boats and the motorbikes. And on one of the side of the semis we can even see the branding for Patriot, the beer that first appeared in Grand Theft Auto 4. Off in the distance we can also see the incredibly goddamn tall broadcast MK based on the real WTBY TV tower. Right in the middle we can also see the guard towers of the penitentiary. Cutting to the next shot we can also see the barbed wire topping the fence. This seems that this is the prison in which Lucia, our first female protagonist, has been locked up. As she looks outside the windows we can also see the guard towers that stood in the opening shot of our first look at Lucia's showcase. This is incredible detail with the increase of Red Dead Redemption 2's graphic. We can also see that her hair is one of the most realistic we've ever seen any of the games so far. We see even more of this detail as the shot switches to show Stephanie a member of the staff at the Leona Department of Correction. We can see the name of her facility printed across her lanyard as well as the initials of the LDC on Lucia's prison uniform. Stephanie asks Lucia if she knows why she's here which is suggesting that maybe the game will open with Lucia committing a crime and then being sent to the LDC. Key art shows Lucia wearing an electronic tag on her ankle and so it seems likely that the majority of GTA 6 will take place after she's been released and put on probation. This overhead view of the ocean showcases not just the incredible water effects that Rockdar created but also a couple of varieties of marine life. To the left of your screen you can see four dolphins skipping across the surface while to the right of the screen a shark can be seen lurking beneath the waves. The shot pans up to a packed beach. This could well be the GTA HD's universe equivalent of either Washington or Ocean Beach. Crossing to the sky is a Maverick helicopter choppers where first introduced in Vice City and feature predominantly in this trailer. Perhaps this is a callback to GTA 6's roots. Also soaring across the skyline is a dodo plane which was in Vice City as well. The architect along the beach in the following shot is also pure Miami which of course is the place upon which Vice City is based while many of the buildings just following the real city vibe there are others that are digital replicas of actual places For example to the right of the screen you can see a tower block which is a distinctive hole in its route switch to a rural area likely inspired by the florida everglades which showcases gta 6's range much likely in GTA 5, the city will be just part of the overall map. Here we can see the, an airboat sailing by one of the forms of transport. We're also able to see navigate to the wetlands. These wetlands are densely populated with more wildlife than we've ever seen in any GTA game before. Here we can also see the Florida staples of flamingos and crocodiles. This certainly brings back memories of the bayou in Red Dead Redemption 2. On the beach, we also see the power of Rockstar's crowd technology with a huge amount of people and body types. Each person is doing something unique from the guy helping someone to apply sun cream to the person taking, let's say, a photograph. And it looks like dogs are definitely back to say hello. To this little beach ranger in the sky above, we can see a sea sparrow flying, referencing back to the original Vice City. This helicopter is outfitted with the pontoons for landing on water. We can also be found in the Verze. The beach is covered with the blue and white pastels that read Vice Beach, Vice Beach, affirming that the location for the original Vice City has been the imaged equivalent of Miami South Beach is far off in the background. In the background is a building called Bayfront Heights, presumably a luxury apartment complex on the seafront. Could this be something we might be able to buy in GTA 6 online? At another waterfront we can also see this scene of boats speeding past Port by City, signified by the PVC logo on the blue shipping cranes. 
this is a homage of the opening of Michael Mann's Miami Vice, which of course was one of the key inspirations for the original Vice City. On board the docked freighter and cargo containers for the two legacy GTA shipping companies, Bilco and Jetson, these were first introduced back in GTA 5. Here we also see what appears to be Lucia going wild on the Vice City Highway while a guy films her from his car. In the left hand lane as well later see social media periods appears to be significant part of GTA 6 and maybe this is Lucia's attempt at going viral. On the road signs we also see direction Kelly County uh, Vice City International Airport, Caitlin Boulevard and Stock yard downtown kelly county is likely the wilder florida area beyond the boundary of vice city like how gta had blaine county after you just passed the limits of los santos meanwhile in vice city international airport seems to be the hd universe of what we used to know as the escobar airport of in the distance we can see the glittering skyscraper with a hole in it is likely a reference to the miami's famous atlantis coliseum the building was also featured in the original Original Vice City, this area was gorgeous street art and sweet rides. That's home to the colourful murals craft, berries and the electric culture. Vehicles here possibly point to an extensive car customization options. We can see huge rims, lowered suspension and some really striking custom paint jobs. Part along these cars is what appears to be a new variant of the Naskaki Carbon RS bike that was initially exclusively available as part of the GTA 5's collection edition in GTA 5. It's only available in black but it looks like GTA 6 will add the new options such as grey and white. Now it wouldn't be GTA with a strip club with the amount of singles covering the stage and floor it seems like it's definitely the start of the week. Sign of the balcony advertises make it rain Monday. This gent going himself by the stage is wearing eight dolls of destruction tour t-shirts which is a real punk metal band of the same name but it's not yet clear if they're going to be involved in gta 6 the black of the shirt lists the locations the dolls have played on tour including gta 4's liberty city and the Allery city and of course vice city is the shot of the two guys shaking hands we can see the main main in the foreground is wearing a dark blue bandana this is worn in a similar to style to the purple bandanas worn by the hatanians in the original vice city Suggesting these members may return overhead the shot of the city is a good showcase of how accurate Rockstar's version of Miami is illuminated tennis court suggesting that the sporty side activities will be making their return. If this shot doesn't make your you nostalgic for the Vice City then nothing will. This is a HD universe recreation of the original game's iconic boardwalk complete with the ocean view hotel which was Tom Lee Vizade's first safe house. You can even spot the retro yellow and white oceanic car that was always parked next to it. Beyond the city limits to the right we can see a bridge that is either Daryl or under control. Wherever it is we feel pretty confident in saying that this will definitely be a car stunt location and at the top of the screen we can see another GTA aerial staple, a blimp. This one is actually based on the fat Albert blimp which has patrolled the real Florida Keys since 1978 in an effort to stop smuggling. We switch to a rooftop party for an astonish astonishing display of Rockstar's hair technology which falls and flows realistically across her shoulders. It's not quite clear who this is flicking their hair but it could be Lucia herself, her face moles and her hairstyle don't match what we saw earlier but that's nothing a thing a day at the salon can't change if this is Lucia. It looks like Vice City now has its own airport sign just like Miami. Previously mentioned the trailer features a lot of social media clip. It's not clear yet how it will be woven into both the story and gameplay but obvious is that Rockstar will be poking fun at influencers and vapid online behaviour. Here we can see an account called Dabod Squad showing off an old guy surrounded by women half his age with a caption poking fun at the idea of sugar daddies post from the poke aka protection of animals and controlled hunting shows of how florida wildlife will even cause us all kinds of problems even in urban areas additionally this is just one handful of the scenes that mimic the real life car culture which is naturally 
a big part of GTA 6. We can see the meetup happening from two perspectives. Here the aerial shot of the donut and the social media video of the women dancing on the car roof. This security visit to the gas station showcases not just a gala wandering where but also the dense detailing of GTA 6 interiors from the shelves packeted with the products to the bakery display and even the loco ticket counter. Convenience store is a sharply made as it has, has a unique exterior location. Again this is another scene that minute mimics the real life body cam footage shows what appears to be undercover police bursting through an apartment door of the side. We already spotted the sign for Kelly County earlier and so it seems like GTA 6 map will cover multiple counties as well as Vice City itself. The next clip courtesy of General Custard Cannon also makes reference to the idea of the Leonardo man noting that only Leonida is a crotch grab and apology for bad driving. The ACT is of course caught on camera for everyone on the Snapmatic. Even more wildly anti of behaviour hinted at the police billboard in the background which states that someone is wanted for panty sniffing sounds like the crotch grabber shirt says we bite back in Leonid that will be another alligator reference than the road signs here pointed back to the VCI airport Kelly County port VC and the keys all locations we've seen in previous shots but how do they all connect we won't know until we are finally able to see the game's full map there's also a sign for Vice Beaches, which is suggesting that there's going to be multiple beaches from the original Vice City. May all be present in some form. This truck sports glittery green bodywork, the secret to which is seemingly revealed by a window sticker. Vice Vinyl, it seems like vinyl wraps may be a big part of GTA 60's car customization. The guy riding on the truck is wearing a red bandana tied around his neck which could be a reference to the Cuban gang who wore similar bandanas in the original Vice City game. As much as, as none of us want to focus on all naked old men watering his garden, his character model does show off even more incredible detail Rockstar has packed into GTA 6. Right down the suburban cross his shoulders and of course he just another example of a Florida man meme. It wouldn't be satire of a southern state if there weren't some hillbillies or as we see in the social media clip from the mug club thrillbillies these guys are here for some off-roading racing which hopefully we'll be able to take part in too pulling in from the right of the screen is his recognizable from the right of the screen is the recognizable frame of the librator monster truck there's a fan amongst the crowd too who's wearing a Librator t-shirt. This clip of a terrifying woman with dual hammers is a direct reference to the viral video of a woman from Chatsworth, Los Angeles who went on a mini rampage with hammers. As this poor chap hits the ground, we can see a bottle of Cereza Barcello beer in his hand. The sign for the nearby mall details several new brands for the GTA universe, including Cala, Scala, and Alpha. Again, we see more evidence of Rockstar's improved technology with the wad of dollar bills Lucy holds in her hand, which appears to be individually rendered notes. We can also see we have footage from the Weasel News, the GTA parody of Fox News. This comes from a 1034 news building with a headline that details a man flipping his car. After we swap to another news organization, this time the Spanish language Mega Noticas for a look at a character who appears to be based on the Florida Joker, tattoo model who was arrested multiple times for his tattoos and they were based on the Gerard Leto's Joker designs for the, for the Suicide Squad program. We can see that here in the in pen tattoo across the guy's forehead, forehead the headline reads Fashion, written in ink for tattoos and explains his neck tattoos were what allowed police to identify him big Florida style. Police badge with the writing in the bottom half rendering to a Vice Dow County, which is another county to add to the list. This sounds like it's going to be a really big map. Here we can also see what appears to be a motorcycle gang, perhaps our first look at one of the gangs that Lucia will be working for. 
under the that the same 1034 weasel news building returns this time showing an aerial view of the bikers tearing through streets previous gta games have reflected the events of the game via radio news bulletins so perhaps gta 6 will take it to another level a video clip this time from high rollers shows a man wearing a writer's slaughter t-shirt as a reference to the call of duty games like the game played by Michael's son in GTA 5, it seems like it has a sequel since then or several since it's been 10 years since we visited Los Santos. The shirt has the Blood Ops subtitle, a clear nod to the Black Ops series. The truck to the right of the screen has a sound for sound sticker in the black of the window and it's packed full of vinyl and sound equipments. Perhaps this points to one of Vice City's new radio station. The green car in the left lane has its own window sticker raised by Rid Rideout Customs. A street sign also points north to a waning sands, likely to be another beach location on the map. Here we can also see Lucia and her partner geared up to do some crime. Hit by bandanas as they march through the store. We can also see several well known GTA 5 brands, including the Elo, Benedict, Light Beer, Caesar Branch, Logger Beer, and the fat ship Pip Vosta returns to make two. But in a new nine alcohol free variant, everyone needs to know where the local weapon store is. A GTA game, and it seems like a pawn and gun to be a reliable merchant, according to the sign. This one, located in Port Gohorn, is this just one of the pawn and gun branch? How? The car Lucia and her partner are driving is a, a tulip, which was one of the cars introduced in GTA Online. It's covered by bumper stickers, most of which have a significance. Lucia and her partner in this motel room, where it's made pretty clear they have some kind of romantic relationship. The promise to trust one another, which means as every previous rock star has proven that there's going to be a miserable betrayal somewhere in their futures. We also see, we also still do not know officially Lucia's partner's name, but we do know it's, it's that rock star's amazing hair technology is being used on his chest duo burst into a into a store ready to rob and re as revealed by the window stick this is an uncle jack's liquor store also among the door signs is an advert for dignity which is available for the super low price of just 99 and a sticker that reads petty forever a reference to the tom petty song used in the trailer the song love the long road was likely chosen for the thematic link to the events of the game. It seems that Lucia and her partner will be in for the long and difficult journey as their relationship builds, which is nice callback to the iconic 80s set a release window coming in 2025. We're all hoping that we was all hoping that will happen next year. And we want to brace ourselves for a possible delay, but at least we know not to plan it for 2024. We're also expected to see more trailers in the upcoming future.